Tommy Nelson and Main Street Entertainment, in association with TLC Entertainment, present The Legend of the Three Trees. Our story started a long time ago, when the world was just beginning. God said, let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit, and God saw that it was good. As time passed, the earth became filled with trees of every kind, shape, and size, each with different types of fruits and seeds, each with their own purpose and destiny. One day an old olive tree braced itself as the wind blew hard against its branches. The animals who lived in the meadow waited eagerly for a big gust to knock a clump of ripe olives to the ground. a soft blanket of protection for the new seed, and our first tree started to grow. The story of our second tree starts with a squirrel who was collecting acorns for the winter. Actually, it starts with the acorn that got away. As the acorn bobbed up and down in the stream, it had no idea of the amazing journey it would take to become a tree. From tree to stream to lake, the seed inside the acorn made its way past one challenge after another. It was planted in the toughest spot imaginable, along the rocky coast. overlooking a mountain pass, high above the valley, stream, and lake below.
Many seasons passed. The three tiny seeds became three trees. A strong pine tree standing high on the mountainside. A gnarled oak tree clinging to the shore. And a beautiful olive tree blossoming in the valley. The olive tree grew beautiful and strong and was appreciated by the animals for her shade and food. But she had a bigger dream. Day after day, she dreamed of becoming something very important. Something beyond the hills of her valley. Something incredibly beautiful. The olive tree longed to become a treasure chest, her wood carved, polished, and shiny, covered with gold and jewels, the most magnificent treasure chest in the world. A chest fit for a king. One day the olive tree felt that her dream was about to come true. A man appeared in the valley and chose her from all the other trees. Her big moment had finally arrived. At last, she was sure that she was on her way to becoming a great treasure chest. The woodcutter placed the olive tree on his cart and took her to his shop. Even though the carpenter had made some beautiful things, that was not how he decided to use our olive tree. From her, he made a simple feed trough for farm animals. She was not to live in a great palace where she would be a treasure chest for a king. Hay and grain were placed in her planks and she was to spend her days indoors among the messy sheep, smelly cows, and noisy chickens. The strong gnarled oak tree hung tightly to the rocky coast. What a courageous tree he had become, his trunk standing firm against the harshest winds. The oak was legendary. Standing strongly on the coast as a proud example to trees everywhere that an oak could survive in the most difficult conditions. The second tree looked out on the water and dreamed of becoming the greatest sailing ship that had ever sailed the seven seas, the flagship in a king's navy. God said you were at home on the high seas. Your builders have made your beauty perfect. Your builders have made all your boards from fir, cedar, oak trees. Some local boat builders spotted the oak. They marveled at its strength and they knew that it would be the perfect tree for their work. Arriving at the boatyard, the oak tree was sure that he would become a grand and glorious ship for a king. His dream was coming true. He wasn't just going to be an oar or a deck. He was going to be the strong side of a great ship. 
He was made into a small fishing boat, and he wasn't destined to be sailing on the mighty ocean or moored in a beautiful harbor, but stuck on a calm lake. The third seed grew tall until it towered over the valley. The third tree had to dream too. But unlike the first two trees, he wanted to stay right where he stood. He dreamed of being the tallest tree in the entire forest. When people looked up at the pine tree with its giant branches reaching tall toward heaven, the tree hoped to remind people of God's glory, majesty, and power. A ferocious storm took the third tree by surprise. Rain pelted the earth for days. The animals searched for cover. The thunderstorm attacked the tall pine with a vengeance. Rain pounded the earth. Thunder shook its bark. Rain weakened its roots. Lightning bolts shot across the sky. Suddenly, the tree was struck by a powerful bolt of lightning. The pine tree's dream had come to an end. He would never become the tallest pine in the forest. Now, he was simply a huge log that blocked a small road through the mountains. The animals found new homes and the human has found a way to get rid of the useless tree. The pine tree was thrown into a pile of scrap where he stayed for many years. In the worst condition imaginable for a once proud tree. Unused and forgotten. What is a dream that won't come true? What was the point of even dreaming it when you find your plans have fallen through? What's a dreamer to do? A goal you've longed for with all your heart Is gone with no chance of reaching it Should all that you are come crumbling apart How do you keep your faith true? Things you don't understand Moving God's greater plan Don't stop believing there's a reason for it all Sometimes faith alone is all that sees you through But don't give up on God He will never give up on you Don't give up on God He will never ever give up on you Don't give up on God He will never Give up on you. Then one star-filled night, an amazing thing happened. An angel appeared to a group of frightened shepherds and said, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. 
you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. A manger, another name for a feed trough, one that held the Savior of the world. God always has a plan and a purpose for everything, and He does things in His own unique way, with His own unique timing. Our first tree, the olive tree, who dreamed of holding great treasure, well, God let her hold the greatest treasure of all. Some years later, an amazing thing happened in a little fishing boat. A very strong wind came up over the lake. The waves began coming over the sides of the boat. It was almost full of water. Teacher, do you care about us? We will drown! Quiet! Be still. What kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The second tree, our strong oak, didn't become a giant sailing ship. But he did become a ship that carried the King of Kings. One day, Roman soldiers took the forgotten tree from the scrap pile. standing tall and pointing people to God had a role that no other tree would ever have. The mob yelled, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! The tree was made into a cross and planted on a hillside. At noon, the whole country became dark. This darkness lasted for three hours. Finally, he said, it is finished. He bowed his head and died. He was put into a tomb that was cut in a wall of rock. Three days later, he was raised from the dead. The King of Kings had risen. Sometimes the dreams that we have for ourselves are much smaller than the dreams that God has for us. God allowed the dreams of the three trees to be used for his purpose and for his kingdom. A beautiful manger held the greatest treasure at the birth of a savior. A small fishing boat carried the king of kings. A strong, tall cross points people towards God to this very day, reminding us of God's promise of a way that we can live with him forever. Inside each of us, God planted the seeds for a life with Him. If we choose in our hearts to trust and believe in the Savior.